The metabolism is a complex process involving multiple pathways occurring in multiple cellular compartments. For a practical purpose, we will focus on only the glucose metabolism of the brain. Supply of substrates, we will discuss in the cerebral blood flow. And coming to demand of substrates, the balance between energy produced and energy utilized determines the demand of substrates. We will discuss these aspects and we will also discuss the events that happen when there is a mismatch between demand and supply. Major source of energy production in the neurons is through glycolysis, where glucose is converted to pyruvic acid in the cytoplasm, then it is transported into mitochondria, where it is metabolized through Krebs cycle and ultimately from electron transport chain process ATPs are generated. This process is called oxidative phosphorylation. One molecule of glucose can theoretically produce 38 molecules of ATP. However, because of simultaneous activity of various metabolic pathways, around 30 to 34 ATPs are generated. Now coming to energy utilization. Resting membrane potential of a neuron is around minus 60 to minus 70 millivolt and the equilibration potential of ions varies. For example, for potassium is around minus 94 millivolts. Because of the difference between these two potential, continuous leakage of ions will occur till the resting membrane potential becomes zero. Zero potential means cell polar depolarization and the loss of neuronal function. There are specialized pumps in the neuronal cell membrane that transports ions against the concentration and electrical gradient so that the resting membrane potential is maintained. This resting membrane potential is basis for the generation of action potential and these ion pumps plays a vital role in neuronal function. Because of active transport, these ion pumps consume lots of energy. Pumps like sodium potassium ATPs and calcium ATPs directly utilize energy from ATPs and pumps like sodium calcium, sodium hydrogen or sodium glutamate transporters, they indirectly consume energy by using the sodium gradient and they co-transport other ions. So the transport of ions and nutrients